One of the many fun things about Wacky Wednesday and our blog is that we get to dig for the truth. Such as whatever happened to Alex and Annie bracelets. Remember them? They used to be all the rage. Now you rarely see them anymore. Well, as it turns out, this company imploded, mostly because of the negative publicity it was receiving over its very wacky working environment. You see, the founder of the company, Carolyn Rafalian, she named the jewelry line after her two daughters, Alex and Annie. She was very involved in New Age. She was known to make major business decisions, such as, you know, the best days for a store opening, in accordance with biblical numerology and astrology, and occasionally employed shamans to bless the workplace. At their headquarters, desks and walls were studded with crystals for positive energy. Statues of Raphaelian's spirit animal, the panther, prowled atop bookshelves, desks, filing cabinets. Workspaces had to be smudged or purged of bad energy with burning sage. In 2014, Raphaelian told the New York Times that every piece of jewelry sold has been blessed by my priests, it has been blessed by my shaman friends, protected from radio frequency, from radioactivity. Now she believed that this blessing ensured that each item was sure to hold vibration of pure energy, healing love. Uh, if you have one of those bracelets, you might want to get rid of it, or at least have it blessed. Not all employees, by the way, were on board. And that's how we know about all this. There were numerous lawsuits out there. One employee claimed Raphaelian used a freezer spell in which she would write the names of her enemies on a piece of paper and then put it in the freezer, believing that that gave control over them. Past employees claim they were made to undergo tarot readings during the hiring process and were required to have a session with a master intuitive. Unfortunately for, for Raphaelian, the true identity of the spirits with whom she was consorting all this time began to make themselves more obvious in the increasing chaos inside the company that eventually saw her pushed out of the business altogether. Now, Alex and Annie's still around, but not nearly the way it used to be. You know, you just can't make this stuff up. <laughs>